Welcome back to another episode. I've done some spawn proofing and I have been a little busy. We got this nice little platform. If you can hear it, those would be my slimes. Gonna wait a little bit till daytime and we'll go ahead and check my loot. But in the meantime, we'll enjoy this scenery as I remind you if you haven't already, if you're enjoying the videos, feel free to like and subscribe. If you have, feel free to bombard the comments section with whatever you feel necessary. So I'll be back after we wait just a couple minutes. So it's been a night. We'll see what we've gone and collected. This slime farm, I'll post a link to the tutorial, is actually really straightforward. Uh, the only thing that I did not enjoy about it was the 16 stacks of brown mushrooms. That was a bit of a pain to collect. Luckily, the tree farm I had built took care of that very quickly and easily. So it only took a little while to sit there and work my way up to it. They are still up there. Yeah, I've got slime to last a couple projects at least. We'll take a peek under a hood. All right. So, not the easiest to see, but stone and dirt with brown mushrooms going through 80% of the entire area. And then there is a little pit it's 8x8 eight eight with a 4x4 four four hole in the center. That hole in the center is filled with hoppers. There's water in each of the four corners pushing the slimes and the drops into the hoppers. There is a slab right above the hoppers to keep any slimes from actually making it all the way and getting off the magma blocks. They're drawn in by an iron golem placed right here, secured by some trap doors. Again, I'll, I should have the link up in the corner so you guys can check out the farm design and build it for yourself. It is really nice for how easy it is to build. The worst part is finding a flat area that covers four separate chunks. And let me pull it up real quick. So you can see we are standing right on the corner of four separate chunks. Ooh. That's why we're totem all the time anymore. Yeah, this farm is just a giant four chunk platform, a three wide spawning platform, and then two block deep hole with eight by eight magma blocks in the center. <coughs> very simple design and it's mainly pulled from one video but I did do a couple things a little different just based on a couple other designs I had used in the past so stone and mushrooms are plenty this farm wasn't too bad to build we'll take off and take a look at what else we got going on This new uh, texture package is absolutely stunning. I get distracted all the time just looking at the scenery and looking at the water. <coughs> Sorry about that, I had a little bit of a cough. So, wait, 
for it. All right. Oh, I escaped out of the bed trying to pause for a second. I have fallen for this one once before. That got screwed out of it. Now the one thing that I am a little upset about right now is as much as I'm trying, I am running out of sugar cane very quickly. Those llamas or alpacas are extremely loud. This is my little uh, firework stash over here. Now I've been putting them with this guy. And as you can see. Oh! Cool. As you can see, I about got killed. That's a little bit of a pain. All right. Only take a moment to fix up. What all? Oh, a piston. Looks like the only thing of note that got blown up there. Might even be hiding around somewhere. Empty a few spots in my inventory. We'll see what we can find around. So really, that could have been a ton worse. I lost a couple glass. And a redstone. Man. Don't know what I'm going to do about that redstone. I just... That's going to be detrimental. I just don't know what I'm going to do about that. I think I got some glass hanging around, so... Almost like it never happened. I'm still going to remember, though. I'm going to take it out on every creeper I find for about the next three episodes. Good as new. Aside from that. I don't know about anyone watching this, but having a hole like that, that close to my farm really bothers me. I don't like using dirt to patch stuff, so we're going to go next best route. The whole thing slaps. But 
is any deeper, I might worry about filling in the hole, but never happened, right? I don't think a zombie, a baby zombie, can spawn under here. Maybe. I think that's about it. Well, no, we got that sorted. Uh, I can actually make my fireworks. Now, I've not found myself a kitty yet. Like I've seen him, but I haven't chosen one for a pet. No cats yet, no dogs. This will have to be rectified in the very near future. Yeah. The mushrooms I had to collect all came from right over here. This multi-purpose wood farm I built. Credit to ENX04 for the design. This thing is phenomenal. You can do like just about every type of single block tree. Brown mushrooms, red mushrooms. You can also do nether trees just by switching out that block right there and maybe a couple other adjustments. There's also one lever up here to adjust on the TNT duper. Yeah, this thing is phenomenal. Probably should have laid that around. Man, between that and this one farm over here, all the resources just kind of magically appeared over time. But with the addition of slime, We've now got slime, stone, redstone, we've got wood, we've got mushrooms, we've got gunpowder, we've... We're getting a little bit of everything set up to farm. I think it's about time that I need to look for a spot and designate a base. That's going to be all for today, though. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and have a good day.